Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pen Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I want to talk about the GPU mining profitability for Ethereum. And, you know, mainly I'm going to talk about the past history of, you know, profits for like a single RX 580 rig. And we can just correlate that with how profitability changes all the time. And I hope this video will hopefully teach for new miners and understand profitability changes all the time. And you shouldn't look at the number that you make today and don't expect that number to stay with you for the next year because it won't it it just won't and i'm going to show you a great example right now okay throughout the rest of the video i'm going to talk about like DeFi. i'm going to talk about the blocks i'm going to talk about my a10 pro and its profitability i'll show you guys the real-time profitability on a single a10 pro which is an asic and as well as uh, talk about the ethereum difficulty and correlate some other stuff just just talking about the the equilibrium of gpu mining profitability and all that stuff just comes together right all right so let me begin you know right now the feeling of the whole crypto miners in in the community in my opinion has been more or less has, you know, talking about that you know ethereum profitability has been going down and it's due to a lot of different factors which i'll talk about in the rest of the video but yeah overall i'm feeling a lot of people have been feeling you know pessimistic about the markets and profitability has been going down but to be honest things are still profitable at this moment okay as i'm making this video for new miners that are in right now i, I feel that they are probably the most emotional uh, in my opinion so guys hopefully you guys can learn something uh, in this video and just goes to show that profitability changes all the time all right so let me begin first I'm on what to mine I have a single RX uh, 580 rig 180 mega hash uh, getting about 10 cents kilowatt hour hit it hit calculate here and we are making on a single RX 580 rig six by RX 580 rig three dollars and ten cents okay three dollars and ten cents if you're mining ethereum or three dollars and 48 cents if you're mining uh, ethereum classic and these are just general numbers you're probably not going to make the exact numbers that you guys see here it changes all the time every day every hour so but this is just take that with a grain of salt it's just general numbers here and now i want to compare this the profits as i'm making this video you guys will see this uh, the next morning i'm making it the night before uh, so i have a video here that i made on august 14th insane ethereum mining profits right now uh, why question mark so this video i was talking about the same rx580 rig all right but back then in August 14th or August 13th as I made that video mining on Ethereum was profitable you were making about nine dollars and twenty cents a day at that time okay and uh, if you had free electric of course you're making about eleven dollars and it says here if you're mining on nice hash about eleven point four nine dollars a day or thirteen dollars back then okay so you can see back then August 14th that this that during that time it was insane right it was crazy and there's reasons for that okay so now I want to talk about that so you can see the difference there as I'm making this video now three dollars and ten cents versus nine dollars and twenty cents about two months later you know it changed but when I made that video, I think a couple days later, the profitability did kind of jump down uh, quite a bit. So for new people that are in right now, if you see these numbers, just know, just know that it will not be the same the next day, the next month, the next year, and uh, it's going to change all the time. Okay. So let, let me talk about, you know, why the profits now are, are kind of down. And I mean, it's still profitable now, but generally worse than what it was two months ago. Okay. And uh, let's talk about DeFi. All right. So DeFi Pulse here, I just auto lock to this website because it just shows all the different like DEXs, lending exchanges, the arbitrage stuff that pretty much what DeFi is is and I would say in my opinion I don't know you guys may have a different opinion what of what DeFi is but in my opinion it's it's literally just rich people whales that are probably just getting in first and making these projects and are probably manipulating it and hyping it up on you know crypto Twitter and YouTube and all that kind of stuff people are talking about all these different projects and boosting it and they're making tons of money because the small people are putting in, you know, a couple of Ethereum. And I would say the people that maybe made these projects, they have our whales, like they have hundreds of thousands of dollars. And as people are putting in money, okay, so we can see here as of looking at the total locked value, uh, as I'm making this video is about $10 billion, almost $11 billion. But you know, as of the past couple, uh, past week or so, it's been going down. So to me, that means obviously people are taking out their money or whales 
hotels have been taking out their money. And as I've seen, and you guys have probably been seeing as well, some projects have definitely gone down in the dumps and have definitely been selling off. And yeah, not financial advice, but you know, DeFi, it is definitely something that's risky. And I know some people are going to say it's a new like thing, a new decentralized finance, like it's going to change the world. But honestly, it's... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I just don't want people to get burned. I don't want people to lose their money. And I know that a lot of people have made money with uh, decentralized finance so far. But then there's also going to be people that lose money. Okay. So depending on when you're getting in and getting money into decentralized finance, you can see here, if you got in really early back in August or July, you've definitely probably made money on one of these projects. But anyways, this is not a DeFi video. I'm not into DeFi. Don't take my info with anything. I, I don't know anything about DeFi. Okay. But anyways, we can see now, right now, the Ethereum block rewards have have been going down in terms of, uh, I guess, the transaction fees and I guess de decentralized finance kind of has been going down. And you can see here, we used to be for the past, I would say month or so, we were sitting about 3.5 to 4 Ethereum per block, but more so 3 to 3.5 averaging around there. But you know, as I'm making this video, I've seen the past couple of days, we've been going lower, like under 3 Ethereum per block. So that's definitely going to correlate or add up together the equilibrium of, you know, the profitability for GPU miners. Okay. So I'll show you a good example of, you know, profitability going down is my single A10 Pro. So I'm going to go to my payouts here and we can see on Ethermine the, you know, the payouts that I've been getting every like, you know, 24 hours or so. Uh, but you can see some of the days I where I made, you know, a lot of Ethereum more than regular days here, 0 0.5. You can see on this day, September 17th, 0 0.1 Ethereum. So on this day was when the Ethereum block rewards was really high. Like I saw it up to like 15 or 10 Ethereum per block. So that was a really profitable day to be mining. And then a couple other days that happened as well was August 31st, uh, September 1st, September 2nd, September 3rd. And uh, it was going lower and lower and lower but you can see during those times was when uniswap or sushi swap or one of those decentralized finance projects definitely boosted the transaction fees people are people were willing to pay those transaction fees thus the block rewards were really high during those times so we can we can correlate that with these profits here that i was getting on my a10 pro but now just to show you guys let's see let's just go back uh september 1st okay so in 24 hours i made 0.1 ethereum right but you know going along like a week later you can see here uh, 24 hours and I was making only 0 0.5 ethereum now going along then 28 hours later 0 0.5 ethereum uh, going along then it started averaging back down 24 hours to 0 0.5 to ethereum per day and uh, you can see the 0 0.1 on September 17th which we just talked about before made 0 0.1 on 24 hours and but after that after that, the block rewards definitely have been going down. And we can see now as of making this video, it takes longer for my A10 Pro uh, to mine 0 0.5 Ethereum, which is the payout number on Ethermine. So you can see here 30, 30 hours, 34 hours, 29, 30 hours, 33 hours to get 0 0.5. So another thing to correlate the reasons why I'm getting like essentially less Ethereum every 24 hours is the network difficulty. And people have been getting into mining Ethereum because it's been profitable. Uh, mining farms are getting in, people are turning on their rigs. Um, I've seen other crypto miner, older OG tubers come back and, you know, other people on crypto Twitter come back talking about GPU mining profitability. So, you know, it's getting hype again and uh, more and more of miners are coming back and the network hash rate has been going up. Thus, equilibrium of all these things together, decentralized finance, transaction fees, block rewards, the uh, difficulty, the network hash rate, the price of Ethereum, all that comes together and brings you that price of the profitability on whatever you're, you're mining on your uh, Ethereum mining rigs, okay? So yeah, it's just all these things coming together that makes up the profitability 
And you can just correlate that by looking at, you know, the block rewards, uh, looking at uh, understanding on Twitter, seeing how people talking about, you know, Uniswap or decentralized finance, whatever's happening on these things right now. And as well as uh, the network difficulty and the network hash rate, it's definitely been going up higher and higher as of making this video. And yeah, just more people are getting into it. As more people are getting into it, we are probably going to see profitability go less and less unless we see more uh, of the, you know, defense. DeFi movement come into play, thus the transaction fees will go up higher, and then we'll see, you know, 10, 15, 20 Ethereum per block kind of thing, right? But, you know, we shouldn't really trust that. That's kind of like an outlier kind of metric because we don't know when, you know, people are going to be wanting to pay those kind of transaction fees and it changes all the time, right? So that'll change their profitability and all that kind of stuff. But I forgot to mention for my A10 Pro, thank you again to Crypto Miner Bros. They're the ones who sent me the A10 Pro. If you guys are into ASICs, go check them out. CryptoMinerBros.com. Use offer code REDPANDA uh, for $50 off if you guys are interested in ASIC miners. Okay, guys, that's all I wanted to talk about. Please let me know your thoughts and if you guys have generally been seeing that you know profitability has been going down and uh, all that I've correlated here, all the things that I've talked about, if you guys think that correlates why you know profitability has been going down a bit. And I mean, it's still profitable now. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. Okay, guys. Well, anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.